Our next guest was just named the National Teacher of the Year. She was honored in Washington, D.C., and even got to meet the president. But more importantly, this is how she reacted when she found out she was going to be on my show. Hold on just a second. Drink some water. Drink some water. Take a breath. So I love this story. Uh, tell everyone how you got into teaching. I always knew I wanted to be a teacher. And then in high school, I got pregnant. Yeah, sucks. Uh, and I was like, dis they sent me to an alternative school because it was not, it was frowned upon. And I was like, I got a job. I was working. And then I was probably about 26 or 27. And I woke up one day and I was like, this cannot be my real life. I have to at least try. And I went to a community college. I didn't tell anyone when I enrolled because I was like, seriously, if I mess up again, nobody's going to forgive me two times. Right. Uh, community college. Then I went on and got my bachelor's. Then I went back and got my master's. Went back and got a six-year degree. And now I'm the national teacher of and the year. Now, <laughs> amazing. Because, and obviously, being the national teacher of the year is a big deal. And teachers make such a difference. And it makes a difference. And I think you saw the difference between changing schools and where you went and oh, yeah. how, how much teachers influence you. And how did that growing up and, and being in that situation influence the way you teach now? I think it totally influences the way I teach because I get it. You know, I grew up in that same neighborhood where those kids grow up. And I've seen the same things. I've experienced the same type of failure. And when they say to me, you don't get it, I'm like, except that I do. Yeah. I, except that I do. And, you know, I see, I know where the end of the journey is. Yeah. You know, I want them to know that your journey is not determined by where you begin. You know, and they can't see that far out, but I can. Right. That's a really good thing to remember. Your journey is not determined from where you begin. Yeah. Right. And, uh, and you teach kindness in your class, which I love. And I think that that's underrated. I think people learn math and history and all these things. But, but I think that's an important curriculum. Don't you think that Absolutely. every teacher should teach kindness and compassion? Absolutely, that whole thing. It doesn't matter how good your grades are or where you rank in class. If you're not doing anything to help anyone else, it, it, it doesn't matter. You know, what have you done? And I think for most of my kids, you know, they've been on the receiving end of aid for so long that they don't know how good it feels to help someone else, to be the giver for mm -hmm. once. Mm -hmm. So when we do community service, they become the givers. And they're different people after that. Yeah. And I think people should just learn and understand how important that is. Just nurture empathy. Right. We have to take a break. I have something for you when we come back. We'll be back. You got to meet the president. That must have been exciting. I mean, isn't he the coolest guy? He's, he's just so charming. Oh, my gosh. Yep. I thought they were going to kick me out of there. They were like, stand still. I was like, this is, this is as good as it gets. Like, it was so surreal. That was still. Yeah. I was still. For well, I don't blame you. It's an exciting thing when you meet the president. First of all, I'm never getting invited back. Well, <laughs> you don't know that. You're right. No, you don't know that. You're right. See? <laughs> You're right. Don't say I'm that. I'm a history teacher, yeah. so the office of the president for me was just, really? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Look at that. I know. It's exciting. Oh my um, God. So uh, let me let me tell you why uh, we're here. Not just to celebrate, you know, National Teacher of the Year, but um, I know that the school is uh, is struggling, and and that a lot of teachers spend a lot of their own money trying to help students. I know you pay for prom dresses and tuxes and everything, and and help all the students. So. First thing is, our friends at Shutterfly want to give John F. Kennedy High School a check for $20,000. So that, <laughs> all right, so. Andy. So out of your own pocket, I know you've been spending money. So Shutterfly wants to give you $20,000. That's the school, that's you. I want to thank Russell Stokes for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow.